And welcome back to the Shuffletron, where we are going through the Megazix Gold Collection. Uh, we just finished playing uh, Demon Earth, which is which predates the U, the full screen use of a You Died banner. Um, really appreciate the long play you did with Tawaii Rain many years ago. Well, thank you. Uh, that was that was an interesting game. I did like at around the end. I did kind of have to fudge it a little bit in order to kind of get through it. Like I think I I think I did uh, hack myself some additional potions to kind of get through the final boss. I think, but uh, it was it was a neat game. There's definitely some figuring out to do. <laughs> but uh, thank you for make. Um, yeah, and Tyrin is on the Shuffletron. Let's see what happens if I click on Shuffle. On Shuffle, and if it is Tyrin, I promise I didn't fudge the thing. I that I do not have a control to select which game is going to come up. Let's push the push the Shuffle button. We are playing Megazooks Tetris. Okay. Here's a hint, we're probably not spending half an hour on it. Megazook Tetris by Asterix. Uh, this requires Megazook 2.51 Spider 2. It's a very early version of Megazook. Also, that is not... Where is... I had a browser on... Did I close it? I must have closed it. That's not a big deal. Just go over here. There we go. By the way, th this came with no sound or music files, I think. It's literally just the uh the megazooks world so uh there we go set game speed to two because the megazooks cannot do that uh like that there nowadays oh the shuffle tone is still on screen sorry thank you also hey zero how you doing um but yeah uh nowadays there is a uh a counter that allows you to set set and lock the speed to a certain value. That was not the case back in 2.51 S2 days. Eh, Tetris. Um, wow, despite the fact that I'm on uh, speed 2, it's still kind of... The menu is very unresponsive. Put some initial lines in. Am I on speed? No, I'm not on speed two at all. That that's why. Okay. The recess when you start again. Okay, gotcha. Which kind of makes sense because there's a lot of early games that'll ask you to set to a certain speed. Which I'm pretty sure, after some discussion on DOS's stream, um, that's kind of how everyone ended up ended up playing like every Megazooks game at speed five. Anyway, let's go. It's it's Tetris. Uh, is there a hard drop button? I don't think there is. Tetris, but there is like these two piece blocks that uh, are definitely not te Tetris standard. They do not conform to the Tetris guideline. Also, there's no actual scoring. 
Like a proper Tetris clone, it has non-standard pieces. Yeah, exactly. Oh, how does this violate the Tetris guideline? Let me count the ways. Um, well, I might be screwed, but this ain't looking good. Yeah, I I was expecting that to happen. It's not using a shuffle bag. It's not spawning the uh, the tetraminos flat face down. Uh, there is no hard drop. There is no uh, hold piece. There is extra pieces in the regular mode. There is no scoring system. It's not using super rotation system. There is no sound on a sound capable platform. Like there, there is a leaked copy of the Tetris guideline from I think 2009 floating around, which I have definitely taken a look at. And I'm sure that the um, there have been some updates to it, but like it's going to be about the same, right? Didn't even know about it when you made ah. Oh. I mean, if we're talking guideline violations. Og has uh, has a few more of those. We'll we'll see them if uh, if the game gets drawn. I think it. I think. They're starting to move a little faster now. I should be on level two. Oh, there's only one uh there's only one type of rotation available as well. I'm sure the guideline states you have to be able to rotate in both directions. But we didn't really care about the Tetris guideline. And quite frankly, the fact that this exists in such an early version of Megazoots is notable in itself. Oh, right, the, the color of the Tetraminos is wrong. I don't know what they are offhand, but I know that uh, the the eye piece is supposed to be uh, cyan. Yeah, it's definitely going faster now. We'll we'll go until I inevitably eat it. Now, there's also a version of Tetris for ZZT, which is even more impressive. Like, it strays even farther from the, te the Tetris guideline, but the fact that it functions at all, even if it does, you know, crash the game when you close it. 
It's pretty fantastic, actually. And I like the little animation that this one does when, uh, oh geez, this is, this is going pear-shaped. But yeah, I like the little, like, line clear animation this has. It's adorable. Ah, it's not where I wanted to put that at all. Nope. Well, that didn't go well. Anyway. That's Megazook Tetris. I guess I could have done that before the break, but uh, there was no telling that I was going to end up with uh, this simple little game. Mark that off. I guess I could have spun it and then, like, if I saw that it was Megazook Tetris, like, yeah, we're not going to be spending any time on this. Let's just do it. Anyway. What are we doing next? We are doing Shadow Song. Not familiar with this one at all. This is in 2002, very old game. Requires Megazus 2.82 and was made by Tixus as Demo 1 and Quasar 84. Oh, this was a DAWs entry. This was made in a day. It might have been touched up after that, but uh, the fact that we have a DOS game in the gold collection is something. We got second place. What got first? Is it is it in the gold collection? Yeah, I guess with with the final name nine three three two nine, that's that's a sure sign that uh, that it wasn't a dolls. Yes, Day of Zooks, if anyone's not familiar with it, exactly what it sounds like. Uh, Shadow Song, let's go! One day you'll cleanse this world of the plague which crawls across this planet. One day you'll understand and trust your own thoughts. You must overcome them first. Right into it. Having fun? Myself, I'm not so easily made to forget the hardship of life. Sometimes it's best to just put your worries behind you. Even with the world in turmoil, it sure feels nice to relax from time to time. No technical or uh, cables here. Lost again! Uh, this must be a lucky night for me. Ugh, it's been a rough day. Would you mind leaving me alone? So you finally made it, loose. Damn, here I thought I could get a vacation. Have a seat. Demons have been really quiet lately. Have they? You don't suppose they're planning something, do you? Demons? <laughs> There's one thing I've learned. It's that these demons don't plan anything. They just kind of wander around aimlessly, wreaking havoc like some kind of disease. You always insist on calling it a disease. Why do I inquire as to why? This is this crazy dream I've been having. There's an abandoned town and someone's been someone's telling me that it's my job to cleanse the world of this plague, which is why I joined Shadow Song. It's far more than just a crazy dream. I feel like I'm like I'm responsible for something. These demons must be the disease. I wouldn't be so quick to trust your stray thoughts if I were you. What? That's 
That's what I heard in my dream. What do you mean? Maybe he'll understand one day, but for now we have a job to do. So what is it this time? Full-scale raid? No, just a minor operation. How many? Two. <laughs> That'll be a breeze. Don't get too cocky. Well, I think it's time to call it a night. We'll meet up tomorrow, destination Rich Richmond, Virginia. Got it. We'll split up and cover more ground. Night, Luce. Pleasant dreams. Nice to escape once in a while, but when, when you leave, you've still got all your problems you've left behind waiting for you. <sighs> Trying to forget some kind of pain, too. I'll it be for you tonight, Luce. Apparently nothing. I say, the world has gloom enough. People should try to be carefree here. No diagonal movement here, which is the standard. Recent years have been hard on humanity. Seemingly from out of nowhere come many monstrous aberrations. Demons, some have called them. Many of the great cities of mankind have fallen into disrepair as these monsters force humans to live in hiding in order to survive. As an operative at Shadow Song, it is my duty to ensure that the that such threats do not spread from town to town by eliminating such dangers on sight. Deviants are different from normal demons. They're tougher, smarter, and much more lethal. Stopping normal demons is only half of my job. The other half is to take care of the deviants. That is the purpose of Shadow Song. Deviants are by far rarer than demons and even actual humans at that. My next mission takes Jermaine and myself to Richmond, Virginia. This is where my story unfolds. Hierarchies move. Space to shoot. In current direction. Okay. Delete Nerakis strafe and backstep. In current direction. So this one also has a strafe, but it's a different button than Demon Earth. <laughs> oh good. Special bonuses that allow you to enhance your weapon. Space continue. If there are any sound effects, they're sure not playing. Which wouldn't be surprised if there wouldn't be any sound effects. I mean, there's a lot here, and we only had a day to make it. Ah! Leave me alone! No! Back! Back, vile demon! Away! No! Oh geez, there's two of you. I don't know what I just collected there, but I think it will store a point of health. Okay. Oh geez. Oh boy. Hi. Okay, so... What I want to do is not approach these, uh, these friggin' snakes until I'm very well ready to deal with them. Oh my goodness, these guys have so much health. There we go. Yeah, the moment I get in uh, close enough to enter firing range, that's when they activate. Cut across here? No. Oh, hi. Ah. And yeah, you know, technically I can understand wanting to use a key like delete. Yeah, that was sort of too well. My ring rate increased. Oh geez. Oh, that's not good. But yeah, like there there is a um I think there is a delete thrust uh condition in Megazoops. 
But you can check for any key, but there's like specifically for like specific keys like up, down, left, right, space, delete. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, well, I'm dead. Well, we got time. Let's try it again. I guess I can probably just save any time, so after after the intro, just save them. I'm smashing the, uh, the space bar to get through this. I doubt that any of these NPCs have like any uh, story flags to set, so I'll just leave. There we go. All right, let's try this again. It's so worth mentioning that uh, I can move or fire. I cannot do both. It's splashed with blood. That's fine. Oh, I wanted to activate one of them, not both. That one's substantially easier than last time. Was it F9 for quick save? I should probably do that. Oh jeez. Hey buddy, can you not? there's going to be a respawn in this game. Let's see if we can just deal with all of these. Just bait them one by one. Yeah, my, my hand is configured in a very strange manner at this point. To try to have access to delete at all times. It kind of works, but it's not particularly ergonomic. I am reminded of uh, the, there's this one game that uh, has been played on Loading Ready Runs, uh, Loading Ready Runs Watch and Play streams, which is actually like the first of that series before it was actually called Watch and Play. They took a picture of how Alex's hand was configured, and it's atrocious. Because for some reason, like this was a, a first person shooter that they were playing. For some reason, jump was the home key. 
So you have like a screenshot of Alex kind of reaching in a way to like use the arrow keys to to move and home to jump. The game in question, by the way, is called Prayer Warriors. It's it's a trip. Uh, let's see if I, now that this room is clear, see if there's any like, we'll make sure that I haven't left behind any uh, upgrades. I don't think, I don't, I'm not seeing anything that looks like an upgrade, so. Wait. Oh. Guess there's nowhere else to go but down. I cannot go back up. When I'm down, I can't get up. Can't get up, can't get level. Sewer count. Hello. What are you trying to do? Wear yourself out? Uh, wear yourself out place like this? That's a sentence. You're not one of those monsters? Nope. The name's Luz. I work for Shadow Song. I'm sorry. I could have sworn you were another one of those monsters. My name's June. June, huh? Is someone like you doing in a place like this? I live here. In the sewers? Not exactly. There's a place that we hide. Me? My brother, myself, and other refugees. I was out looking for my brother when you came along. He goes above ground from time to time to salvage items. And did you find him? Not yet, but he should be fine if Shadow Song is taking care of things. But now, he won't be able to find me after I ran off like that. I feel scared. I'll protect you. Isn't that breaking orders? I don't think there's a problem with it in this case. If you insist, we should head to our hideout. Right. We have nothing to worry about. And you're not going to tell me where this hideout is? Oh, there's a ladder there. Okay, so these guys are slow. Unless you shoot them, then they'll kind of lunge forward. They just don't get cornered, basically. Oh, jeez. cat things. Oh, hi. Also, it's interesting, like, I ran into that uh, health up, and it kind of acted as a wall there. It didn't let me pick it up, but I was at full health, so... Doing that kind of intelligently. I appreciate that. Oh, it's bugged. Oh, okay. So, like, does it sell us for health? It does. Okay. Glitch exploitation.
Okay, buddy. Come on. You're a kitty. Die, kitty. No! Well, I'm a bit cornered here, but, uh... And goodness knows, all I need to do is survive and then come back here. And save. I remember there being like a power up somewhere. I just went the wrong way to be able to actually get it. By the way, if you if you see some characters up in this corner up here, no you don't. Okay. I know that there was a power up. I kind of want to go back for it. I feel like that's not something that you necessarily really want to leave behind. I realize I'm not going to necessarily be playing this game to completion. There it is. Die, potato. Yeah! Ooh, the, that... That was, uh, that smarts. There we go. Firing rate increased again. All right, well, thanks for dropping by, Tyrion. I think we've cleared out the sewers now. Our health back up to max. Oh, that's the wall. Here. It took everything. We were forced to flee the surface and abandon our home several months ago. They're still fighting on the surface? This place is too proud for my taste. You're one of the hunters, right? Are you going home? So you guys are, you guys really are serious about this. Oh, you guys really are serious about this. I'm gonna call it a night. We'll continue our search tomorrow. We'll stay up here. Keep, we'll stay up and keep watch. There's a bit prepared for you in, in the third from the right. Lose down the north hall, hallway. Yeah, he's a little sleep. I feel like we kind of skipped a little bit there. I thought we could. I was going to tell you how long it would last. There we go. That's a bed. Oh dear. Oh 
<laughs> I was afraid you were going to fall off the path. Who the hell are you? I am everything you've ever feared. This is just a dream, isn't it? I'll go away in time. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? No, this is reality. I remember going to sleep. Can't play with my mind that easily. Do you remember anything else? How about those that you murdered? I have no regret for the evil I've slain, especially if they have anything to do with you. No, you are a murderer, and you will suffer a murderous punishment. I have no idea what you're trying to pull on me, but I must be getting closer to what I'm after since you seem so bent on stopping me. Whatever you say to delude yourself further. You're no better than any of the other demons that are crawling over this planet. Are you going to answer my question? My name is Zizor. Remember it well. I hope we get the chance to meet again soon. Very soon. What the hell is going on here? Wade! Who's doing this to me? Well, he's dead. You... You're the one who killed my comrades. After I finish killing you, I'm gonna hang you on my wall, you bastard. Get away from him, you monster! What? Me, the monster? He's a deviant. He is... You're the monster! You killed them all! Uh, you're, you're the monster. You killed them all. <laughs> we didn't do anything. Shut up. Quit laughing like that. <laughs> We're not laughing. <laughs> stop, stop. This is your last warning. We can't hear you and... It went away too fast. So let's come to this. Is eyes all right? Am I really facing the punishment I deserve? Murder. Was I deluded the whole time? It's happening to me. Is any of this real? I feel so hopeless. I feel to spend my last days walling around in my own guilt. If there was nothing more I could do. Is there anything I could have done to begin with? Cleansing the world? Contamination? What the hell was that? Unless... <sighs> I need answers, damn it. Hey, what in the... Deviant? No! This is, uh, trippy. Oh, hi. Uh, my head. Somehow I feel better. We need to talk. It's time to let you out. Looks like someone finally overcame their thoughts. Yes. Then you've, o you've overcome your contamination. Contamination. You weren't far off calling these demons crawling the planet a disease. In fact, you're about half right. You see, each and every one of the, each and every one of us are contaminated by Zizor. Zizor can take control of the mind and implant some pretty serious delusions. The truth is, each and every one of us is a potential demon to someone else. Some are weak-minded without prey. We become the demons to all of us. They lose all control of their minds. Anything they, anything they see that walks must be destroyed. They're tormented by this contamination, and the only thing we see fit to do is end their suffering. We rationalize it, we try to justify it, and in doing so we weave our own delusions. To us, these people become the demons, but not everyone is like that. There are some strong-minded enough to keep Sizor's influence at bay. They can try to live a normal life, though always clouded by fear, and, and... And then there are the Deviants. Deviants. The Deviants are those who have overcome the disease. And they've... They've bested Zyzor already. Their minds are stronger. They are the only thing in, in this world that Zyzor fears. They possess the very strength to resist Zyzor and destroy him. This is why Zyzor created the group you know as Shadow Song. Zizor created Shadow Song? 
Sizor could can, could coerce us into destroying those whom he only feel those ah those whom he only feared make us think we are eliminating our only threat. We need to keep the contamination alive. Precisely. It all makes sense. We are working for the wrong side at this time. And this is why we now forge an alliance amongst ourselves within Shadow Song itself to strike at Zyzor from the inside. Only a deviant could stand up to Zyzor loose. I understand, but I am I'm sorry. I can't help you until I have atoned for my actions. Your atonement is complete. You've already overcome the demon within. And now we must overcome the demon within Shadow Song itself. It, like the world, is not aware of the sickness that possesses it. Step onto the teleporter in the corner to be transported to a safe distance away from Ancelon's office. He's contaminated, just like the rest of us. Zyzor resides within Ancelon. Be careful. Well, looks like the next step here is to deal with Ancelon, but uh, I'm going to put a proper save here. And um, we're at 28 minutes, so uh, I think I call that good. Shadow Song, made in a day, and uh, it's definitely a bit glitchy, but there is a lot here. Like I'm, I'm not how much I'm not sure how much longer this goes, but uh, like if I had to guess, we're probably maybe like halfway through, maybe. That's pretty good. Anyway, not much longer, yeah. But uh, I'm still gonna hold fast to my 30-minute uh, thing. We're gonna move on to the next game. Cans 3. <laughs> oh boy. This is a product of its time. There are three files to download for this one. So for anyone who's not familiar with the Cans series, uh, this is created by Inmate2993, who is still to this day at least somewhat active in the community. Um, this was released in 1998, so it requires Megazix 2.51 S2 at the very least. And um, basically this is mostly a cameo done. There are a lot of people here who were members of the Megazix community at the time. It's also just a very goofy game. I think I did uh, do a Let's Play of the Can series a long time ago. First Chuck saved the planet, then he saved another. Now you must save the universe from a dead 12 year old. Cans 3. Press P to continue the insanity. By the way, th this will be the only... Oh, Shuffletron is still on screen. I need to remember to... Yeah. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Pretending to go into the editor, I see. You can't scare me. That's it, back to the tile screen for you. By the way, um, if any of the other Cans games comes up, uh, we will be skipping those. We're just playing the one Cans game today. And so, this is it. Okay, 
Let's assume that you're actually Chuck. You're a big smiley face with bare sneakers. This is you. But from past Ken's game, you, can, you should know that Chuck's whole purpose in life is to have fun. Having fun only happens when you go when you go places and think fun. And naturally, going places means moving. Moving is easy. Standard Megxit movement, movement keys. Chuck also has a slingshot. Uh, don't worry, Chuck. Uh, Chuck's mama always says you can never have too much ammo, so you'll never run out. Chuck always uh, carries plenty of explosives. Still need to drop them. Now along the way, Chuck will find stuff. Press I to use that stuff. Chuck will also get cool people to follow him. Press S to make sure they are all still cool and not like dying and stuff. Now when a, labor, a lamer walks up and starts messing with you, such as these, you'll go into battle and be forced to kick their butt. Just follow the little menus and you'll be okay. That's all. That's about all you need to know right now, so get out there and kick some butt. And then we have a music test here. We have some press F7 and die. Good. What is that? F7 is a uh, right item cheat, but uh, we uh, are not in the um, in the editor right now, so. Don't touch my music. Well, this is all. This is all, you know, original music. So, don't even think of using my Megazix trainer to cheat at this game. Well, I won't stop you, but don't do it. This game contains strong language, politically incorrect statements, rude gestures, and insulting cameos. In no way was Inmate ever attempting to single anyone out for a trashing, but rather wanted to trash on Megazix collectively. At any time you feel insulted by inmates, save your game, stop playing, and get a grip. If you dislike the cameo you may have gotten, uh, you may have gotten, or even lack of, of a cameo, too bad. Yeah, I hold no responsibility for the damage done to your computer or loss of internet in the real world you may acquire from during play. If light begins to hurt your eyes, save your game, stop playing, and get a life! <laughs> this game has been, uh, has been the brainchild of inmate and endorsed by Out of Dreams. Now stop reading and play the freaking game! Thank you, come again. Don't worry, this is only Megazix. It's not like Kansas is going to storm the world and win like 50 awards. Well, maybe just the Megazix Excellence Awards. Or not. Kansas rocks! End. Verge was a thing for a little while. I don't think I poked at that a whole lot. Arbinux. Diagnostic seem to check out, except for system resources. What is this? 86% usage. Well, surely this is not going to cause any problems. Terminate Chuck. Removing user OS. Can sucks. You think the Semi of Darkness will end their problems? This is only the beginning. Now that I've turned Indiana Smiley into a cyborg, Chuck will no longer be an issue. I can commence with my plans for universal domination. First target, Planet Megazix. The universe will be mine soon. The silly Megazixers, ha! Let's see them stop me now. Thanks, Kafka. Isn't this a great movie, Chuck? Chuck. Chuck, wake up! Huh, what? What did I miss? I'm awake. I only get one movie a month, now I expect you to be awake. Is it almost over? Well, now it is. It wouldn't hurt you yet if you actually watch his movies. Yes, it would. You're completely hopeless. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to be a pain. Good night, Chuck. Good night. Hey, Chuck! Oh no, not again! What? Every time you show up, I, I end up in another Cans game. So? So, every Cans game I get beat up in three seconds something. But you're the good guy. Leave me alone. Hey, I created you. Plus, this one's gonna be cool. Hey, okay, fine, what's the problem? Is Robert gonna blow up Earth? Not exactly. Okay, welcome back to the Insanity. There's trouble in the Megazooks verse is... Uh, there's trouble in the Megazooks verse 
and it's up to our pal and hero Chuck and his girlfriend Cindy to save the day, week, hour, whatever. As usual, should any of uh, should any, any member of your insane mental force be caught or killed, the secretary shall shred your homework and format your hard drive. Just kidding. So mega potion re refill health like refill health of the lucky Wasnuff. Uh, life stuff bring your Wasnuffs back from the dead. And tickle me Elmo, kick lamer ass with Elmo. And now we return you to our pirated airwaves game. By the way, if any if anyone does not know what Wasnuff means, um, wacky zany nutty funsters. Um, I don't know the context behind how this term originated, but also like I was not really part of the Megazooks community back at this time. I was a very awkward child who did not fit in. Robert reincarnated in Indiana Smiley. Huh? How? Well, duh, he didn't go very far. Oh, what was the problem? Okay, XF recently made a trip to Darkness. Now, him and Indiana Smiley had a deal going on so he could return back to his body on Megazooks. But uh, he had to make all the other Megazooksers evil so that he would be a property of his. so they would be a property of his when they die. XF came back a little late. He was unsure of what was happening in Darkness, but he knew it involved my little brother. How do you know that? It's a cans thing. Everyone knows everything. Anyways, the Megazooksers decide to reopen the portal to Darkness, which hasn't been opened since Darkness 2. Fred TC and MZ went and uh, went with an apostrophe through and didn't come back, so I went through and find so I went no apostrophe through and found out that Robert mutated Indiana Smiley and gave him robotic parts. That's not good. Managed to get Enzi and Fred TC out, but Smiley and several of Robert's minions escaped. We closed the portal, but Smiley, uh, Smiley stole the three tri warp TM power squares and the portal generator's Barkness square, which worked with the portal which worked the portal matic Robert Spoons took the squares and ran. I managed to find out what, uh, where they are, but we need we need you to stop them. Why me? It's a cans thing. Okay, let me understand. Indiana Smiley is alive. He stole the po the portalomatic parts, and now you want me to stop him. Okay, gotcha. No problem. Chuck, what's going on? It's a very long story. Tell me. Sunrise Cans 1 and 2 here. Okay, you're an intergalactic hero, and this guy created you in this entire universe. Nifty. Yes, well, I, I'd like to think Rotator C made the universe. I just took this little portion of it. Okay, gotcha. I opened several portals from here to the plants. The one in your bathroom le leads you at least to Planchakania. Nifty. The one over there goes to plant hash megazooks. The one that ended up in your bed in your bed. The one that ended up in your bedroom leads to plant badness. Badness? Well, that wasn't a fun planet. Also, I detected a Megazooks fusion battery source here here on Earth, so. When you look for Indiana Smiley, don't look too far. Chuck, I'm coming with you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Well, yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Okay, thanks. Good. Now, don't. Hey, you owe me for not watching the movie. All right, fine. Just don't yell at me if something stupid happens. Stupid. Yeah, stupid. Stupid. Okay, I see. Just got Looney Tunes. I'm going back to Hash Megazooks. If you need me, come and find me. I'll be at the Caves of Zooks, seeing if I can make a Barkness Square for the Portalomatic. Okay. Where are we going first? Well, I don't really know exactly. Is that bad? Well, let's wander around first. Good idea. So if you have no idea what the hell is going on in any of this, good. <laughs> Code Red Brand Purple Couch. Oh boy, we get to watch TV. This is the B Files, everyone. Can't imagine the, the mischief that Barney is getting up to. Dude, that was another thing that is very specific to the ZZT and Megazoo community. I guess it's not that specific, but like, there was a lot 
of stuff about people hating Barney and there are a lot of games, especially in ZZT, about killing Barney. <laughs> Quite, quite the the phenomenon. Special a special announcement. The president announced that he did inhale. Inhale ninety eight day six A B D seven. F C M Springer. Oh, funky chunky monkey Springer. I see. Inmate, you use too many explosions. And back to the B files. Baseball! Throw it around! Oh dear. Jump out the window like in cans one? Yeah! It's fine. And just safely jump down from a second story window. Talk to Zixier? Oh, this is a whole thing. Chuck, if you haven't noticed by now, something is up. Hi Zex here, having fun with Sabian cameos again? Didn't this happen in cans too? What the hell is with that background? It's funky. This is the remix. This is the remix. This is the remix. Cut it out, I'm talking. Wow, are you New York New Yorkerkin? No. Anyway, I've come to release important plot information. What's a plot? It's one of those things, uh, a thing. Oh, okay. Stop stealing my character. Let me finish. Robert is, take, is planning to take over the universe. He's gonna open a hole in the space-time gem. Then him and his nifty army are gonna raid the universe by writing some big Final Fantasy III Magitek armor ripoffs. Cool. Cool. By any chance, can you tell me how to beat him, or like how do I find him, or what Indiana Smiley has to do with anything? I tell you, but then I lose membership in Scum. Scum is that organization against sequels, against sequels to cans. So long. Black off. That was a sequence of events that happened. Oh, here's homie G Money. Your word, Holmes, what's you beef? I ain't, I, I ain't no homie G flipping corn dog fool. That be them. I, I'm not really down with this, uh, this dialogue. Fight me. I see. Oh geez. We have entered RPG battle. Um, do we have magic? Yes. Use more magic. Oh, that is very flashy. Force. Okay, that is health restoration. Got it. Which you can also do. I don't see any reason not to use the, the magic. Because like it doesn't cost me like health and there are no other resources. I'm sorry for the flashiness here. The best thing that I can do to prevent it is just finish this fight. 
There we go. Chuck's team won, got 14 Mexis coins, got 12 Mexis score. Yeah, I thought so. So we have 14 coins, we can get one Mega Potion, or we can get two Mega Potions, a lot of life stuff, but we can't get a Tickle Me Elmo doll yet. That's a sentence I just said. Um, what's in here? In my brand, in my lock. Please insert passcode. Um, four twenty, oh six nine, six six six. Nope. Use the Windows CD. I have a Windows CD. I do not. Our heroine. No, not the drug. What the hell is going on? Oh, I didn't check my mail. I just jumped straight out the window. I didn't have time to do that. Check opens the mailbox to find bills, bills, bills. You may have already won 25 quintillion dollars. Bills, bills, free version of Win Bills 95. Bills, bills. Oh, that Win, that Win 95 CD might be useful if I need to destroy a computer or something. Bills, bills, bills. Yes. Superman intended. Hey, you civilian flumless. Are you talking to me? Maintain discipline with me, you piece of scum! Uh, calm down. And you, civilian Rella, don't you give me that tone or I'll have you peeling potatoes! And drop and give me 50! Okay. 50. There, 50. Ow. That did not go well. Also, 2993 ammo, low bombs, and high bombs. Anyway, we have that Wind Blows CD now. Don't worry about those various sounds happening. Check in source of Windows 95 CD. Error, out of memory and or disk space. Format hard drive. Well, now we have now we have learned about the destructive power of Windows 95. Hey, the sewer sucks. Yeah, it stinks. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean it. And this place smells like your apartment when I first met you. P.U. I wonder what would happen if I. Uh, that was cool. Welcome to the New York sewer system. You are not responsible for any mutation, amputation, or any other disabilities caused by being in, while being in the sewer. Enjoy your stay. Giant orb of the twisted grate. Okay, blocks your path. Now we're in a uh... Hi. Tom Servo Incorporated handrails installed on Smart 42nd 1997. Please do not jump over handrails for that may cause accidents. Use teleporters. Navigate between floors. I saw Tom Servo there and I was like, I, I have to at least try to put on the voice. I'm a, bit, um, I'm a bit sad that I never really got that reference as a kid. Because I uh, 
did, I did not have any channels that show Mystery Science Theater 3000. My first, uh, the first time I ever saw anything to do with that was actually the movie, which ironically is shorter than an episode. Greetings, Chuck. I knew your curiosity and lack of IQ would find your way here. Huh? Never mind that. I've been brought back from the dead to assure Robert's triumph over the universe. Don't you mean the universe? Stop making obscure reference to Megazook's games made by other people, that really irks me. Don't make me get a stinky, wimpy jimpy on you. Yeah. Um, Chuck, what is that? Then he has Smiley, former hero of ZZT and Prince of Darkness. I killed him, now he wants to kill me. Oh, it's more than just that, Chuck. My creator... The creator? Stop that! My creator and your arch nemesis... Nemesis? Ugh! He promised me incredible wealth and power if I gave him your sorry hide. Um... Ack? Cap? Urk! RSTFB. I don't know what RSTFB means, though. Okay, that's it. You're dead. Below this room is a very, very long drop. It goes very far. I challenge you to a fight while we fall down this shaft. The winner doesn't hit the floor down below. Redundant string termina terminated for gravity. I see. Thank you. There we go. Okay, fine. Take the stupid Barkness Cube. Got the, got the Barkness Cube and also got exploded a little bit. Yay! We accomplished something. Cool. Take a nap? Sure. Yawn. Nice nap. Everyone's back to full health. It's an in the portal. Go through it to planet badness. <laughs> yup. All the red, the yellow brick road do this. Another fine but useless town by inmate 2993. Hmm. Gee, I wonder who this could be. Waka waka waka! No, actually, it's Woka Woka Woka. Well, that's no fun. Inmate paid me to join you people, so I'll give you my the rundown of my contract. Eee. That's impossible to pronounce. I see. Just join us. This conversation has lasted too long now, anyways. Okay, but I get a cool magic spell, right? It make use too many explosions. This is what severe laziness does to a magic screen. Good talk. Trendy, trendy useless magic screen. Oh, here we go. So the Nova World map is common in all RPG type games. In fact, it's against the laws of RPG to not have one. On this and the other overworld maps like it, press up, down, left, right to move, check around, and then press space when you're on a dot to, to go to one of those stages. You don't have to hold the directions down because Chuck moves automatically when he steps off a dot. There are also forks in the road. Chuck doesn't know where uh, where to go from here, so he'll stop moving and you can use the arrows to move him around again. 
If you need to read this again later, just press H. Good movement. Um, let's go to Fred TC's ride. Uh, walk or whatever. FBI, open up. It's your leading cause of cancer in America sitting right here. Agent Chuck, we're sending you to Bal to Alcatraz to kill the double agent for DC. It's gonna kill lots of people. Huh? You go clip into the soup and save a bunch of people. Oh boy, here we go. More sewers. We fun. I think I might have like double entered there. Yeah, there we go. Attention extras, you're being paid 25 bucks an hour to help enact this scene. Every 20 minutes I'm gonna kill someone until Cancer Man out front sends someone in to kill me. Too late, dude. Hey, you didn't take the sperm aside. I didn't scroll down, but whatever. I can't see that that would have gone anywhere good. All of mindless baddies. Sure enough, I can just kind of ignore all of them. Scroll intentionally left bank. Haha! <laughs> now you're going to have to fight my chain off! You're what? Not meant in any XE. Very, uh, very touchy uh, maps, uh, menus here, rather. Maps! maps. Yeah, Kawaka. There we go. Chuck's Team 1, and... For some reason, Green Day starts playing. Dope! Out of here! Yeah, we gotta keep. You just keep doing your thing, man. Yeah, but Zero, are you just paranoid or are you just stoned? Well, I dealt with the problem. Good, your your reaction did not change at all. Let's go to the temple badness. Chuck, Sean, Scene! Uh, that's Sean, not Scene. Nifty. So, uh, Sean, what's in that big funky tumble here? I'm not sure, but I think it's some big funky plane of some sort. Also, I keep exiting out. Um, hmm, a plane inside a temple. I've never heard that before. FFL3 people, we don't know. We need another key. We're going to have to go to the Hole of Badness. The sign grows here. In the jumper. To jump, press A. To climb up and down. Oh, that is a very tall jump. Going down. Nope, nothing down here. No secret fortress down here. Please disregard the scroll. It's not a door, it's a picture. Damn it, go away, nothing's here. Who sent you? What authority do you have uh, uh, What authority do you have showing up in our secret domain? 
Zuljin. Oh, come on in, Chuck. So what's up to you, Chuck? I'm trying to save the universe from inmate's little brother again. Whoa, do you have cool FF-type battles? Yeah, and I also have a party. Whoa, this is Mexican RPG. Do I meet the people? Hell yeah. Hi. Zuljin, Zuljin, wall wall, bing bang. Cool. I'll see you later, Bear. See ya. TV's Rogo. Well, actually, we're just playing with the cloning machine a little too much. Battle view. Watch, watch battle? Sure. Let's hit Cloud for a lot. Lots of big numbers happening. Let's see where this fight's going. Nowhere fast. I'm surprised that I cannot get impaled by these swords. Also, there is a large poo over here. I just stepped in some dookie. Is Butts' hentai magazine? Oh dear. I was expecting that. Don't mind me, I'm just getting re ready for the release of Final Fantasy VIII. Dude, they cloned me off and ran away. Tell you, man, it's a conspiracy. Yes, I always thought there was something wrong with that kid always changing his name. What's that supposed to mean? Oops, wrong conspiracy. I don't know if there are any fake walls around here. Sure is. The Dralicomatic. Supposed to plug something, but I don't feel like it's a go play honor quest or something. Okay, fine. Play honor quest. Happy now? You hand out that escape key. And funny you should say, get your hand off that escape key, because, uh. We're kind of over time already. Um, so yeah, cans three. Lots of wacky, zany, nutty, fun stuff happening. Uh, I have a Let's Play of it on my old channel. And, um. I don't know that I'm gonna link it because that was a long time ago. I would say about nearly 15 years. Let that be him for what's coming up. Uh, so let's go back to the Shuffletron. Uh, da -da -da -da. Stop that. And reset. And uh, mark done. And let's see what we are playing next. Adla. <laughs> So Adlo is another very early game made by Crank God in the year 2000. Um, and for its time, it was very advanced. Uh, there is a lot to it, and uh, we're definitely not going to get very far in it, but uh, that can probably be the rest of the stream, honestly. Well, we'll, we'll play it by ear. Depends on how well it goes, I guess. It's about interactive fantasies. Prank God presents. Program by Crank God. Cheech Chong. He's the Cheech and Chong for this generation. He's not an American superstar from the new generation. He just happens to be Adlo. Adlo for Megazooks. As opposed to any other platforms that Adlo is on. Which I don't think there are any. Let's press P to play. Welcome to Adlo for Megazooks. The yeah, title screen is right. Adlo has been worked on since August 1997. Adlo has been on has been many different colors, had different weapons and enemies, and blend one color backgrounds. The original Adlo, which origi which exists now only in my disturbed little mind, could carry nine sabers, which he could throw, use to climb walls or chop off the heads of enemies. 
This is a cool idea, but I scrapped it to make better use of the overlay. I had to redesign the five levels that I had made to deal with the changes. Then in late 1997, my hard drive crashed and Adla was no more. But the idea was. So I experimented yet again with even weirder right ideas. Thus creating the Adlo that is that is here in this game. Over the course of Adlo's production, I dabbed into tracking, maybe into... I think you mean dabbled. Uh, making around 23 mods for my project. Most of them were replaced by better ones that I wrote later on. Nevertheless, all the music is original, but why are they in GDM instead of mods? A few reasons. I was big into writing S3Ms for Adlo until I discovered that they didn't play right on most other computers. I converted all the mods to GDM so I wouldn't have to change every reference to the, to the music to the music file. Yeah. Also, GDMs are smaller than mods and, I, uh, and keep almost all of the quality. Plus, I liked having all GDMs instead of mods and GDMs scattered about. CDs I listen to while programming, ones I can remember anyway. Kill Em All by Metallica. Ride the Lightning by Metallica. Mass lots of Metallica. Master of Puppets and Justice for All. Metallica, Load, Reload. South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut Soundtrack. One Fierce Beer Coaster by Bloodhound Gang. Uh, Use Your Fingers, also by Bloodhound Gang. All four corn CDs over and over and over. Gravity Kills, My Gravity Kills, Significant Other by Limp Biscuit, Devil Without a Cause by Kid Rock, Californication by Red Hot Chili Peppers, Melancholy by Smashing Pumpkins, The Fragile by Nine Inch Nails, and Hellbilly Deluxe by Rob Zombie. That certainly is a mark of the time. Companies Adlo ha for Megazooks has been under in order of appearance. No Company, Readmark, Lucky 7 Entertainment, No Company, BNR, MZT, No Company, Duke Incorporated, Interactive Fantasies. Most of these names are names that I absolutely do not recognize whatsoever. Pretty much these last two are the only ones that I actually know. People who deserve recognition before you beat the game. Hapopo. And just about everything. Betaing, advice, being a sport friend. What can I say? Thank you too much. Hercules and Fedge. Herc for uh, asking me to purdue this game under IF, and both for help on the IF logo, I made a beginning with Herc's uh, character and pal, uh, pals, and Fedge made one that I didn't use. Runner for the voices I never used for Adlo. Uh, just, uh, Justice for testing Adlo for bugs and being there in IRC to throw beer bottles at, and Maz for a few samples for my mods. Copyright 1997 by Red Peterson. Story thus far. Zizfil Blitz, a Scotsman that our hero T is back in kindergarten for while being Scottish, has a plan for revenge. He has sent a, a letter of truce to Adlo, convincing him that all is forgiven. Adlo decides to head to head out to find Zizfil Blitz. After all, it's been almost 25 years, but in reality, Adlo is headed toward an ambush on his trek to find him. Can Adlo uncover the truth and talk some sense in, into Zizfil Blitz? Uh, can Adlo connect enough amp ampersands to help the game win the Megazook's Excellence Awards? Only you can decide. On this screen, space to play the game. Delete for, am for amount of starting lives. Up and down to move the cursor and left and right to change music. By the way, I should at least start the, the timer here. So there is a bunch of uh, stuff that we can collect. In particular, you want to pay attention to ampersands and colored bombs. Those are typically the more important ones. Opal, Opal Holder, and Door, basically like the ones in Commander Keen, and probably draw some uh, inspiration from those. Uh, so a bunch of other stuff here. So up to enter doors, climb and jump. You can only jump in midair if you have fallen off a platform. So it's kind of like coyote time, except that the coyote time doesn't expire. So if you fall off a platform, you can jump in midair. Which is actually a really interesting thing and does actually come up for some solutions in the game. Left and right, move left and right. Uh, space through a bomb. Uh, R to return the map screen if you've already beaten the stage. Uh, S to skip uh, bonus games and dialogue. Space leading up to um, cancel your life. 
save normally on the map screen, so I press F3 basically. But bombs! So you have three different kind of bombs, and the three different kind of bombs do three different kind of things. That's basically what you need to remember. Speed up your keyboard's repeat rate. I mean, I guess that's kind of a thing that you could do in DOS. Not so much here anymore. Well, actually, you know, I think Megazoox would respect any settings that uh, you would have for a keyboard repeat, right? It's not really any different than anything else. Anyway. Sure, let's get started with the tutorial. Welcome to the tutorial level. Play this level to get the feel of Adlo. In this level, you cannot die at all. If you feel that you have a better feel for the game and know these basics, and you've played the tutorial before, press R, the key used to go back to the map after you've completed a level, to skip the tutorial. There you go, not too hard, right? Now if you press hold, if you hold right or left before and while you press up, you can even jump greater distances. Try to jump this hole. There we go. Aldo can do something most other characters cannot. He can jump in midair. Now try to fall off this platform, hug the right wall, and jump in midair to the other platform. Can you do it? Huh, wow. Well, now you have jumping down. Try to jump and land on this enemy. Then you can pass. Great. Now grab the keystone that falls from the sky. Open the yellow wall by placing it in a keystone holder of the same color. See how killing an enemy gave you a random prize? You should be a bit aggressive if you're low on vitality, because you may get an item that can cure you if you, uh, if you defeat an enemy. Note that the item disappears after a while, so try to get it quickly. On to a better part of the game, bombs. The screen bomb to the right is a force bomb. This explosion covers the area of a small circle. Pick it up and press space. Press any direction to throw. You're trying to hit the bomb ball hit block over there. See if you can. And you get a little wind up animation there too. Regular hit blocks can be uh, can be hit in the direction indicated on the block. For example, jump up and hit this hit block with your head. Try to fall off this edge and curve your jump left. These babies are cool, they're carts. Step inside and moves to the right. All you need to do is jump over obstacles. Try it, it's in many levels. Collecting two bombs of the same type will upgrade the explosions and make them bigger. Dark gray bombs upgrade any type of bomb, and light gray bombs give you five extra bombs. Throw up fours and by holding space and pressing up. See how big the explosion is? <laughs> Next up, bolt bombs. Don't underestimate Adlo's jumping. He can clear all these spikes without stopping on the one, on the one block platforms. Upgraded bolt bombs can reach higher. Grab one and see. Oh man. The red rubber bombs bounce off the walls. Throw one and see. Rubber, bomb, rubber bombs not upgraded bounce off of one wall while a second, a second collision makes it explode. I am key. Gems 100 give you for life, red gem worth 2, yellow gem worth 3, gem pouch worth any number of gems, peppers give you coins, and star makes you invincible for a while, but music gets fast, but you can tell. It's right on now. Grab the star and brush across the spikes and enemies. You save points, well, save your point level. If you hit one and die, you will come back here. This one's inactive, but you can't die in this level. 
Ah, no. Um, yes, unfortunately, we're... We still got a little ways to go, but this may be the last game that we play tonight. Maybe not, we'll see. Vines or ladders can be climbed using the up and down. Uh, using the up and down? No, using up and down. Other can also hang between two vines and uh, as shown and use up and down to climb between them. To get from one vine to another vine, it is touching this cross right and left. And so it's the third little part. If they're drastically apart, you must fall from one and grab onto the other. Have perfect timing so you don't, pop, you don't fall past the vine. Also, you can throw bombs from vines as well as jump off from, top, from on top of them. And there we go. This is water. There are many ways to swim in it. Try it for yourself. Up swim is down. Up swims and down goes you down. This last newest meal. I dare. What? Oh no! An ampersand locked door. Too bad you don't have ten ampersands, unless by cheat or bug, or else it wouldn't open. Uh, or else, or else it would open. This concludes the tour. Exit by standing in the door and pressing up. If you ever get stuck in a level, press up space and delete to kill yourself. Uh, press S on the dialog screens to skip. Them. Here we are on the actual world map. With the gems that we collected, interestingly enough. Anyway, let's get started with the actual game. Actually, I think uh, I think I needed to bounce on that guy in order to get in the cart. Well, he just kind of went off. Uh, there was no indication to change the uh... oh geez. Yeah, there was no indication to change the, the game speed, but also this might have been around the time that we were all just using speed 5 for everything. I'll, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. I really want to get in that cart. beyond the Mexican border. You may be out of the country, but you're just stepping into danger. So have a few more miles to reach the shore. I did come up during uh, during the month of Zooks, like the default speed was four, but there was some games that were just kind of asking for speed five, and then we just left it on speed five all the time. I don't know how true that is, but that's what Lachesis says, and She's typically right about that sort of thing. <laughs> Desert winds blow at night to help you reach your gold. Get the Emperor's End of Light in later levels to prove your gold. Oh jeez. I do too, honestly. Yeah, I think we need to be in that minecart to get uh, that ampersand.
Hop. Oh no, Adler just died. Control Hercules and Hydra's character freaked a cat in this game. You have 99 game seconds to hunt as many coins as you can. The coins that can appear randomly one at a time in the gaming area. Jump on, on the platforms to collect, excuse me, to, to collect them. Prizes will be distributed for how many coins you have at the end of the time. Watch out, the jumping in the engine is not what you're used to. Oh jeez. Yeah, I'm not kidding here. There's like this weird... Like you have to commit to your jump for, for this. Oh geez. It's based on the freak the cat landing engine. Yeah, probably. It does let us make jumps like that though. Oasis. Let's go. Okay, square thing. Yeah. Yeah. This was this was significant. This was a significant game this time, just for the fact that the levels reset. Because like the thing with Megazooks is everything is mutable all the time. Especially at early on. So if you do something by default, and this was the only real option back in the early Megazooks days, that chain would persist until you start a new game. The workaround is before starting a level, the game would reload its world in order to put everything back to where it was. And like reloading your world is not an insignificant thing to do. Oh no! All those health restoration items. Well, at least we got an extra life. I would rather have the health. Try to ignore some of these enemies now. Okay, swear out. Yay, level up. 
level up, life up, and gain an extra life is what I'm trying to say. Okay, we have a checkpoint. You learn Spanish from Alba. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's a good thing to do. And I'm pretty sure that line is not Spanish. You know, I'm, I'm not a Spanish language expert here, but, uh... Come on. There we go. I mean, it is, but, you know, there are other better words to learn. Okay, there's another uh, door somewhere. So I'll open that door so we can get the uh, the bronze ampersand. Go down here. Nope. Can't throw bombs underwater. Good to know. Can I go back? Yes, I can. Oh, geez. Swas newest meal. Okay, that drew me in. That is not my checkpoint game. Hmm. Actually, it didn't go down here last time. Yeah, is there a chance that that's actually a regression bug? Cato and me pet in me los pantalones. I think uh, there's a cat in your pants, you might need to uh, see about extricating it. It's not going to be very happy in there. So now we have an orb that we didn't before. of the ampersands. Dude, this one of those ampersand things. Dang it. 
the orbs are very connected to you. Anyway, considering that we do have one of the ampersands now, I'm not particularly inclined to uh, try to dive for that one in the water there. second. Full power bombs. Possibly meaningless checkpoint. That's a big jump. Yep. Yep. The grunts are necessary, by the way. There's a gold ampersand. Yeah, it's it's a it's a fall jump. Do I want to try for it? Nope. And now I go. Okay, so that's it. You only take a hit from that. You take two hits from that. Understood. Yeah, I understand how to get that. It just didn't turn out the best. And here we go with coin hop again. But yeah, like, this game having a different jumping engine kind of reminds me of, um, an untitled story. Oh jeez. But yeah, like, there's one point, there's one point in Untitled Story that you start playing, uh, I forget the name of the game. The thing is like Jumper or something. Like it's a mini version of uh, a different game from the same uh, from the same author. Was that? I think. I think that might be for a, an early game of Maddie Makes Games, which would make sense. The author's little square things also received the Steam port. Crank God has a game on Steam? Damn. I gotta get on that shiz. Anyway, um... I mean, in, in order to really make a dent in this game, I would have to really be playing it for a much longer time. I'm going to call it here for Adla. We'll play one more game. It's just so that uh, Zinfandel can see the Shuffletron. And probably have, like, probably have most of the game, um hidden by it, just as just as was the case with um, with the uh, Shovel or Scavengers list. But yes, Shoveltron, I press the shuffle button and it makes the thing go. 
let's see what we're playing last. Yeah, I might go a little overtime for it. We'll see what it is. Termination Rehash. Not familiar with this at all. Termination Rehash. This is another Dolls game. Let me check the date on this. 2006. Uh, what was the other one? Shadow Song? 2002. That was a different Dolls. So this is a, a Dolls game by Quasar 94, uh, Quasar 94, Quasar 84, Texas, and Lancer. Um, let's get this extracted here. Um, so considering that it's called Termination Rehash, I'm going to guess that it is a rehash of the Dolls version of Termination. Blazar, Lancer, and Texas present. We venture now into the unknown. Our resolve is clear. Our mission is to eliminate or be eliminated. There's a lot to fix here. Yeah. Right. We won't need it again for the stream. One would think that I could tell because, like, I have a Shuffletron button and when it's up, it's lit up, and when it's not up, it's not lit. So... At least I've been mostly remembering the stopwatch. For over two decades, the Assarians, a malicious alien race bent on our destruction, has been a threat to the human race. The war was long and devastating. After many bloody battles and the loss of countless lives, humankind finally managed to gain the upper hand. Some good art, by the way. Uh, through the efforts of the Interplanetary Alliance, IA, we dealt a crushing blow to the Assarians, scattering their race throughout the known galaxy. With the Assarian civilization in ruins, we had finally reached peace, but for some, the war was not over. Random attacks occurred from time to time. The culprits, usually groups of uh, usually group of renegade Assyrians, their targets were passenger vessels, pass were passenger vessels newly formed colonies, possibly for newly I don't know, some of them. Having lost my family at the head at the hands of the Assyrians, I vowed to out to out and destroy every last one of them. But working as a soldier for the IA has not given me such an opportunity. So I joined an organization dedicated to hunting down the remaining Assyrians, the Estray Foundation. Might have accidentally a word or two, yeah. We are a dedicated group of trained soldiers who scout out areas ha that have reported that have reportings of Assyrian activity. The latest sighting was on Burkhans, a nearly uninhabitable planet. Rep uh, reports indicate that there is a large gathering of Assyrians on Burkhans. They're definitely up to something. Our mission is to find out what's going on, and to put a stop to whatever plans they have. This will be my first mission. Access to Burkins is prohibited by the IA, so we have to take great measures to slip through the to slip through the shadows unnoticed. We had established a perfect crew to take on such an operation. We are more than well equipped to take on a small army of Assyrians with our artillery. But as we closed in on Burkins, Something went wrong. Oh, production values! Here we go. You are currently equipped with two weapons: a titanium alloy blade and a civilian issue zip, a zip 505 handgun. Ammunition is limited, so use the blade where you can. You can switch these weapons by pressing the keys one and two. You may find more weapons later, which are selected and used similarly. And also reload your current weapon by pressing R. It's a clip of 12 505 tungsten core bullets for your Zip 505 handgun. Oh, this one has you moving diagonally as well. Although, 
if you move diagonally into a wall, you don't slide on the wall. So, thing to keep in mind. I recognize that sound effect. That was used in Meridus. And probably other games. By the way, speaking of Meridus, I have recently... I've recently tried to uh, compile Meritus as a 64-bit application, and it makes it sound wrong. Uh, oh, diagonal movement, I see. But I can't move beyond this. Um, I'm not really sure. I think it's like the way that SDL Mixer gets um, gets set up. Um, the sound effects are all slowed down. And unfortunately I don't really have a way to uh, compile for 32-bit in Linux. Everything else seems to work. Seems to work. Armor upgrade. But yeah, like I've been I've been compiling it for 32-bit for the uh, for the Archipelago version. The problem is the library that I need to uh, oh the library that the uh, Archipelago library needs to uh, connect to remote service that uh, the ACL library is no longer available in 32-bit. Which causes problems, you see. <laughs> Taking a lot of hits. Is that the health restore? I would really appreciate if it was. Ah. There we go. Come on. I see you there. Oh boy. That is a health restore. It's very well uh, guarded. It is a health restore, thank goodness. Hold the crystal on your hands, feel dissolve into fine particles and float away on the breeze. You're filled with strength. Let's leave that one on the floor there. Maybe I'm a little gun shy from like Demon Earth that we played earlier in the stream. That's full of context for people over here. Um, where if you run out of ammo, you start using health as ammo. Yeah, there's a, there's a few sounds that uh, we're also using in this. Armor upgrade. Here, since there's a, a 
health thing right over there. Maybe if I can get to below 50% health before I use it, but I don't want to go too far either. Out this guy, and there's another health over there. Now I'm wondering if the easiest fix for uh, the sound problem in Meredith's in 64 bit would just be to resave the sounds in like. Because right now I think they're unsigned 8-bit. I think if they were like uh, something else that might just fix the problem itself. Oh, everything respawns, duly noted. Ah! Yeah, I also, I mean, I, I, I figure that as well, that SDL Mixer should just be able to figure it out. But the weird thing is, if I play the sounds in um, FF Play, they also sound wrong in the same way. I'm wondering if I, if I were to find like a 32-bit version of that play, it would still do that. I would have to just kind of play around to try to see exactly what works, but uh, it does seem like fixing the sounds would be the easiest way to approach that. I'm just not sure what the easiest way would be to fix the sounds. Too long one. I don't remember doing the audio work in that game. Very green C and STL programmer at the time, yeah. Fair. Lewis! I was wondering where you were. What the hell happened anyway? Mechanical failure. Some of us managed to eject prior to impact. Where is everyone? We've all scattered around. Trip and Adam's paired up to go investigate. Dominic went off to hunt the Assyrians on his own. They're all handling this pretty carelessly, if you ask me. I guess I should stay on my feet. This is an unusual planet, Renell. There's a strange crystal substance I discovered that has the ability to heal. Hmm. Don't think I've ever heard of, of such a thing. If you find any, be sure to consume it. So what's our plan? Here, take this. It's a shortwave communication device. With it, we'll be able to stay in touch. So we're splitting up? Yeah, that'll improve our odds of fi finding the others. We should meet back at whatever's left of the ship. Okay. Hey, where are you taking all that ammo? Find your own ammo. Are you taking all that ammo? Find your own ammo. There's plenty of uh, of other storage rooms in this mine. I'm sure you'll find stronger weapons the deeper you go. What is that? Oh. Um. It just makes that sound when I hit the wall, I imagine. Oh boy. Oh, jeez. 
Hello, everything. I have a key card. Oh, I do. Well, there's a there's a couple of uh, number one doors around. Provided that I uh, don't get myself obliterated in the process. Sometimes it's just that easy. Oh, 100%. By the way, I realize I probably should have asked this before, but have y'all been able to hear the Shuffletron shuffling? It's supposed to make like a, a beeping noise as it shuffles. Oops, for a moment I thought you were one of the Assyrians. What the hell? Let's see you're alright, Dominic. Man, I didn't think I'd ever see you again. You don't think so? I was afraid of that, because it doesn't show up in the audio mixer. I Set it to monitor and output, but apparently that didn't matter at all. Yeah, I guess I managed to survive the crash. You know what condition the ship's in? I'm afraid it's pretty bad. We won't be able to fit. We probably won't be able to fix it ourselves. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna be trapped here in this damn rock for the rest of our lives. I don't want to think about that right now. Estra will probably send for us. But for now, let's just worry about finding the the others. There's something about this planet that's unsettling. You know, they say it's uninhabitable, but I see gr stuff growing all around. I even saw a lab further ahead. Now, that's interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna look around the area some more. See if I can find the means to get off this planet. You keep an eye out for anyone else. we Will do. Hmm. There's probably going to be some way to, like, burn these or something. To shoot the barrels? Okay. I guess I haven't actually tried that, huh? There's another armor upgrade. Well, let's try. Oh, those barrels over there? Hmm, just out of range. Oh, jeez. Hey, that bullet passed right through you. I disagree. There we go. Charger for a compatible Q9 prototype electrolaser device. Die. There we go. I'll leave it to me to find the exact incorrect path.
And it definitely looks like there's a lot here, so... Oh, jeez. That looks important, though. Yeah, what, once once that clock hits uh, about 30 minutes, then it's gotta be the end of the stream, so we'll, we'll have seen what we'll have seen. Adhesive static alloy coating. You coat your titanium alloy blade with ASAC. The coating will cause the blade to give anything it comes into contact with a more power uh, with a powerful electric shock, doing more damage than would otherwise be possible. So we got a weapon upgrade. Hazar is focusing on levels, you're focusing on gameplay. Why am I not surprised you are focusing on gameplay? Oh geez, hi. Uh, damn, what happened? One of them got me. Bastard. Dominic, hang in there. It's too late. No, it's not. We're gonna find- we're gonna go find help. This is better than spending the rest of my life trapped on this rock. Just hang on. I'm gonna find some of those crystals. We'll be off this planet before you even know it. This is the, uh, the only way off the planet, kid. For me. No, the Estray's the Estray Foundation is gonna send a ship to pick us all up. Wish I could live to see the day. <coughs> Just <coughs> do me a favor. Kill those bastards. <sighs> Lewis, can you hear me? What's happening? I just lost Dominic. Damn! Where are you located? I'm in the forest. That's not good at all. Renell, I want you to forget about the mission for now. Just concentrate on staying alive. I'm not, I'm not gonna let them get away with this. I'm gonna kill every last one of them if I have to. I'll just be careful. Be sure to use the healing crystals whenever you need to. I find the dialogue ha like puts a lot of importance on the healing crystals. That is surely not insignificant. I feel like that one should have had more health, but maybe maybe because of the ASAC, I don't know how much damage boost that provides. Oh wait, there's another upgrade there. Extra capacity curtain magazine. You attach the extra capacity magazine to your curtain machine gun. I have a curtain machine gun? I don't think I do. Oh, it's the other side of this. I probably need something else to get through that. There definitely seems to be some randomness in the amount of damage dealt. As I take out those those robot dudes in like between two and four hits. for something that I don't have. These terminals are protected by a hash security a key, but a variable number of bits of bits long. To hack the terminal and open a door, you have to use your memory tweaking software to XR out the key until it is comprised of only uh, only of zeros. However, however, your tool can only XR areas of fixed shape. Now on top of that, the terminal will only allow you to make so many XORs before automatically logging you out. Use the arrow keys to guide the tool and press space to XOR the currently selected area. You can make as many attempts at the puzzle as you wish. So basically, 
very complicated jargon to say the current shape is going to have its bits flip when you press space. There we go. There we go. And we get key card two. No effect. Oh, that that's Are these health ups? Yeah, this is a small health up. That's why I was saying no effect. I think I came from here, actually. Hmm. Looks like he's walking right into the trap, as expected. Hmm. Considering that I apparently should have more weapons, I should probably turn back and go find some. And it, it is going to be the end of the stream when uh, when we hit 30 minutes here, but I uh, might come back and play some more of this. Security key card three is required for that. Definitely feeling more powerful going back through this earlier area. There's a weapon crate. Inside we find a KM remote detonator in the box. With this you can place bombs that can be detonated with a click, click of the button. Fire one to place, fire again to detonate. It just kind of stays there, I guess. And here we go. An H42 assault rifle out of the wind box. The assault rifle fires in a deadly three round burst and can incapacitate tough opponents quickly. those bombs for those. Seven? I don't have a whole lot of them, so... Yeah, sure enough. Armor upgrade. I could bomb through that, but I can also just walk around here.
Is there a way to get around to that without using my last bomb? Yeah, I should... Oh, jeez. Do I ever. Five of five force ampli amplification device. You fit the force amplification device to your pistol. Force amplification, amplification, force amp dev uh, devices allow weapons like your zip pistol to be upgraded beyond the mandated civilian weapon maximum. Ownership of such devices is heavily controlled by the IA, but they have managed to proliferate in some circles of the black market, nonetheless. There's a rocket launcher. Ooh. Let's, uh, let's see what this force ant can do. It can pass through this slime, dude. Fantastic. Ooh. Only takes two shots for those big guys. Any moves on the bullet does, yeah. Understandable. I mean, Megazeus can only do so much about uh, about collision detection, especially in 2006. Probably check before and after moving the bullet, yeah. Probably to some extent easier to do in Megazooks, and also you you have kept building your skills since then. Also, I, I know that we're up to the 30 minute mark now, but I just want to get to that one room, which I think was up here. Yeah. Can we get through here now? We can. What's in here? A certain 337 submachine gun that we have an upgrade for. The certain fi fires at an extremely high rate, and that more makes up for its inadequacies in the accuracy department with raw power. Warning, it can eat through ammo very quickly. But we have a lot of ammo for this. Seventeen hundred bullets. <laughs> it does seem to. I'm sure this is on purpose, but it does seem to be more inaccurate the longer you hold down the button. Which I mean, typically would end up being a thing with a machine gun. It's like the longer you fire, uh, you're going to lose your aim because it's just. Rat attack firing. Yeah, that that is definitely more spread the longer you fire. Anyway, so appropriate that this game be called Termination because I'm terminating the stream. So thank y'all for hanging out. Um, thank you to Zero, J-Pop, Lancer, Tyrion, and Zinf for hanging out. The next scheduled stream is going to be on uh, Sunday at 8 p.m. or later Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle where I'm going to almost definitely be playing A Short Hike, which is the last new game on the new game YAML. And then... On Tuesday, uh, actually, it technically applies to Sunday, but Tuesday is my main like content stream. So, um, but on Tuesday, we shall be celebrating 15 years of Let's Play the World. 
on March 19th. March 19th, yes. March 19th, 2009 was the very first video. The, the very first Let's Play video that I posted on my old channel. And so it's it's worth looking at that and wondering what we can do for that. So that's going to be next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Um, I just thought now that I could have also done like looked at the time that the first video was posted and do something then but the problem is it's Sunday and that's also the day of the Sunday Super Shuffle. So um, yeah look forward to that uh, but that is going to do it for today so thank y'all for hanging out I'm on co-host at CoolUMZX and you can also uh, support me financially on the bear pay or buy me a coffee at the links provided on the uh, in the chat right now if you so desire to do so but yeah thank y'all for watching i'm cool here if you don't know and i'll see you guys next time